Hey, what is going on guys? It's Faded and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add UOX to your Dark RP server 2017. Let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open your Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. I use Google Chrome and I'll have this link down in the description below. This is where you download ULX and ULib because ULib is required for ULX to work. So basically we're gonna ignore the first two and we're gonna go down to this one, the latest download release of version of ULX and ULib. Now we're gonna go ahead and download the very bottom one which says ULX installer with ULib. So we're gonna go ahead and click the link down below. That will start a download. So go ahead and open it when it's finished downloading. If this little window pops up, click yes and click OK. Now click I agree. Now this is what we're going to want to alter this little direction link right here. So we're going to go ahead and open our Gary's mod folder. So we're going to go to local disk and we're going to go ahead and open the darker P folder we made it in the tutorial. Darker P. We're going to go ahead and open Gary's mod add-ons. Now we're going to click up at the top here and we're going to highlight it. So everything is highlighted. So we're going to right click, copy, and we're going to go back to this window. And we're going to highlight everything in here by doing control A and pushing delete. And we're going to go ahead and paste that link that we just copied the direction right here. So it should say C colon backslash darker P backslash Gary's mod backslash add ons. That's going to be installing to that directory. So that's what we want. Go ahead and click install once you've done that. And you'll see two little folders pop up. You can now close this window and go ahead and click OK on this little window that pops up. Now you can see in our dark RP add-ons we got ULX and ULib. So now ULX is basically installed on the server, but now we gotta make ourselves super admin, which is considered owner. By the way, you can also close this window in the background, it's no longer needed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the server up and I'll see you guys when I enter the server. So now that we're on the server, we know that ULX is installed by opening chat and doing explanation mark menu. And now that this little window pops up, that means that ULX is fully installed. In order for us to become owner, we gotta go ahead and close out of this window. We're gonna push escape. And we're gonna go ahead and open our Gary's Mod server console. Not this one right here. We can close out of that. The server console that opens whenever you run the server. So the window should look like this right here. So now we're gonna wanna type in ULX space add user space and then your in-game name. So my in-game name in this case is just fade. So we could go ahead and put add user space fade space super admin. Go ahead and click enter and it'll say console added fade to super admin. And then chat it says console has added you to super admin. So now if we do explanation like menu, we have a new tab here. Basically we're considered owner. We can no clip. We can go in God. We can go in jail, we can jail ourselves, we can unjail ourselves, we can do basically anything an owner can do. I know that video was short and I do apologize, but the thing is, I'm having trouble with my video editors at the moment, so you guys are going to have to wait for another video to come out that's longer than this. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.